you so much for coming to the latest investors meeting for Vought International. I am your new social manager, Vivian Frost, here to tell you all about the 10 most disturbing and fucked up things that have happened on the boys as of now. Now, where is now, you may be asking? Season four, one episode to go. We are at season four, episode seven. So anything that's happened at this point or prior is fair game for my 10 most disturbing things that our beloved superheroes in the seven and those rascals called the boys have actually done. Now let's start off with a good friend of everyone out there, a true American, our friend Homelander. Yes, the greatest superhero in the world, my personal favorite and girlhood crush, Homelander. Now, the 10th most disturbing moment is number 10 because, well, it turns out it was just in his fucking head. Uh, the scene where Homelander, and again, by the way, spoiler alert, spoiler alert to all of our constituents around the world who are not caught up on the boys. So with that being said, let's move on. Homelander's fantasy about annihilating the crowd. Now, when I first saw this episode, I didn't know it was a fucking dream. This was one of those like, it's a dream things or a daydream thing that actually got me. And I pride myself on, you know, can't get too much by me when it comes to that. But at this, at, after what we had already seen in the show, when this scene happened, it was like, <gasps> and there's like, oh, and I was honestly, I was relieved. I was like, oh, thank God, because it was horrifying. Laser, laser eyes, you know, we never seen Superman use them, you know, real, like for real. This is like how dangerous those fuckers are. And not to mention, like, you know, the poor little temp, uh, the poor little secretary uh, lady uh, this season, and then of course, uh, the guy's balls this season, and a lot of things have been burned by these eyes. Uh, what's her name from Back to the Future's face? But anyway, this only ranks number 10 because it didn't really happen, but it was a fucked up thought. Moving on up, we have, let's talk about the whale in the room. Uh, the boy is driving a speedboat through a, a beach whale. That was not so much disturbing, but fucking gross. And not to mention, goddamn funny. This is one of the more lighthearted picks because it's a dead whale, but it's fucking gross. It had to stink. I mean, it, I mean, in the reality, you know, we're acting as if this is real, which it is because we're here at Vought International, uh, as I mentioned earlier. But anyway, so disturbing, gross, disgusting, but fucking hilarious. Now let's move on to something a little more solemn as we mourn the death of Ambrosius, voiced by the lovely and talented Tilda Swinton, everybody. Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton. Yes. Yes. Tilda Swinton. Yes. Keep it. Yes. Fantastic actress. Uh, and will be in the new television series, Homeland. Er. Starring Homelander. But anyway, uh, this season, season uh, four, the deep fucking kills Ambrosius. It was disturbing because A, the deep's a grade A dick. You know, deep, D E E P, dick, D I C K. Four letters, start with D, they go together. He's not here, is he? Okay, good. Uh, but what he did to Ambrosius, okay, look, it's just an octopus. It's not the same as a human, don't get me wrong. But it was fucking disturbing because she's pleading. And then her last dying gasp is, I love you. Ugh. Ugh. Not since my octopus teacher have I cried so much about a fucking octopus. But Ambrosius, you're in her heart's love. Next we have, what set us, set Huey, we Huey on the catalyst to being one of the members of the boys and, you know, the world knowing who Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid's son is. And that was when A-Train just ran through his fucking girlfriend. Horrific. And he's just like, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta go, sorry, and just takes off. And Huey's just holding her hands. That is fucked up. And it set the tone for the boys. Not as much as another one coming up, another two coming up, but this tells you what you're getting into and what this world is like. It's brutal. It doesn't care about human life or any life for that matter, except, you know, Ugh. anyway, herogasm. Now specific, now look, there is no kink shaming here at the frostbite. I'd be one, I'm not a hypocrite. I have many things, but I'm not a hypocrite. No kink shaming, but what they think of for these soups to be doing with their powers at an orgy is fucking disturbing. Some of it's kind of hot, don't get me wrong. Uh, of course, I'm channeling my best Ashley look, BT dubs. But, you know, this one is a little more tongue in cheek or tongue in orifice or tentacle in secondary orifice, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, herogasm, it's, it's disturbingly fun in a sexual way. Maybe not to some, but a little bit to me. Wink. Next we have, speaking of herogasm, 
uh, Termite, I think, is, I think was his name, uh, where he crawls into his lover's penis and then sneezes and enlarges. An enlarged prostate, an enlarged termite. Fucked up. When I saw this, I didn't believe it. I was just like, I was in shock, like legit shock. Just what, what? And of course, I'm walking through the urethra only on the fucking boys or South Park. But honestly, only on the, well, no, it could be in South Park. Only on the boys or South Park. Next we have, speaking, I told you the deep was a dick and he f basically rapes Starlight. Uh, yes, forcing someone to give you a blowjob against their will or coercing them, like blackmailing them basically. That's rape. Honey, that's, a, that's not their will. You are forcing them to do it in a way that is not physical. It's, it's fucking rape. And yes, she did it because the next scene she's fucking throwing up in the bathroom and Maeve hands her the towel and Transparent is in there, you know, being his little perverted self. But yeah, it's fucked up. It's disturbing. It is never okay. And the amount of rape in the, I mean, the, the, the TV show is tame compared to the fucking comic. Let me tell you that much. Fucking tame compared to the comic. But this scene, this whole situation so fucked up and honestly legitimately disturbing but what is the most disturbing scene to me in the first four seasons notwithstanding the last episode of season four of the boys well it has oh no sorry God, this is the second one huey hugh uh Simon Pegg, oh my God, this was this was so disturbing because it was it was heartbreaking on so many levels. Might be an odd pick. Might be, most people not, might not think of it, but one of the most beautiful, like truly good characters in the show, Simon Pegg, Hugh, uh, Hugh Senior, Huey's dad. Uh, Huey wants to give him the V. He decides not to, but his mom does it after he leaves the room. He makes the right choice. He made a wrong choice, but he didn't go through with it. She did. He turns into fucking shadow cunt. I don't know what, you know, whatever his name would be, but he can phase through when he's memory problems. And it is heartbreaking to see this completely innocent character go through what he had to go through and then him passing away was so fucking sad. It was just, but it was disturbing with what he went through. And now people think he's a fucking murderer in a soup and all this shit. And it's just, it's so fucked up. And you know, it's in the in shows like this. It's always the character you never that really that deserves it the least that gets it among the worst, and he does. Uh, not quite as much as this poor girl. I was way off on my numbering. This is number two. Uh, anyway, I should look at my slide number right here. The teleprompter person will be talking to me in my office after this. Anyway, uh, the jumper scene uh, with, again, Homelander. Homelander's a grade-A American for sure. Uh, but he's supposed to save her for the cameras, and she's jumped because she's a suicide. She's like, I don't want to do this. I'm scared. He's like, I'll catch you. I'll catch you. Just do it. Come on, hurry up. And she annoys him. And, well, she's so scared. It annoys him enough. She does nothing wrong. She's terrified. It annoys Homelander enough where he's like, I'm just not going to fucking catch you. Now jump. Like, and then he, he fucking makes her jump and doesn't catch her. Fucking disturbing as fuck how he treats human life. Granted, he thinks he's a fucking god, but he was born a woman. Like, the, Jesus, you know, claimed to be god, but he was still born of a woman. He's like, I'm man and I'm god. You know, someone was like, no, nah, fuck the humanity shit. I'm a god. And he is here at Vought Industries International. And our main number one go-to guy. Love that Homelander. Uh, anyway, uh, number one, the most disturbing thing that has ever happened on the boys, in my opinion, is Flight 37. Now, I actually started watching the show on a goddamn plane, and I was just like, holy shit. The plane, I forget, the plane's having trouble. They're like, come in, hey, we're gonna save everybody, blah, blah, blah. And then there's, you know, there's children, there's women. Maeve, God bless her, like, I, you know, you know, this this set the tone. This, in addition to A-Train, like I said, A-Train, the Starlight Deep thing, and this, this is what you're getting into with the boys. And if you can't handle it, get the fuck out, because it is brutal, it is cold, it is terrible but there's some there's so much good to be had to be found in that so when the good does happen it's it's even more beautiful uh but th there's nothing good about this this is absolutely terrifying uh how they're on there they could say they could save everybody it would be so easy and he's like fuck it and the kids the, the, the mother oh it's so heartbreaking pleading with Maeve just you know you know just save her just save my daughter don't let my daughter die and they just and he just homelander just grabs her and gets the fuck out it's fucking Heartbreaking, but there you go. That's my ten most disturbing episodes or instances of what happened or things that have happened on the boys. Now remember, Homelander is watching and listening. So remember to say your prayers, drink your milk, and always, always say goodnight to Homelander because he's the one keeping us safe from those dastardly and 
anti-suit people out there. But by now you should be subscribing to my channel here, V for Vivian, V for Vought. And also this is the video you should watch based on all the other weird shit that you watch on YouTube. It thinks you should watch it. Let me know what a video that is down in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that shit. And to be honest, this, you know, the content contained here was no copyright with Vought Industries. And you know what? Fuck Homelander and stay fucking frosty.